Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll take you along with me while I do some plant chores, as well as show you some updates to my outdoor plants and a short succulent and cacti tour. I'm actually really excited to show you guys, so let's go. So I just finished potting up this fiddle leaf fig directly into that pot. It was in a nursery pot and it was really root bound. It grew up so tall since I got it and I just had it over there by the tree for a while since I just moved here and I haven't had a chance to really repot all of those plants that were outside. So I just did that and then I just repotted this Prince of Orange. So I'm kind of going with the same color scheme as before, whereas I had the white pots inside and I have the orange or terracotta colored pots outside. So, so far two down and I have this aloe plant. See a lot of these plants are sitting in there in the nursery pots, but I need to take them out and plant them directly. So I have this aloe plant also have all the plants that you see in the terracotta pots on the white stones all of those need to be potted directly into the terracotta pots and let's see also have this moonlight philodendron right here and i have that fire stick euphorbia which i got to be really careful when i'm potting that up i don't want to get any sap on me so I'm probably gonna have to wear a long sleeve shirt and gloves when I'm doing that. Just giving it a good shower, get any bugs or debris off the leaves. And then I'm gonna get started on the philodendron moonlight. This thing is really ready for a repot. This is the Moonlight Philodendron. I already have the soil on the bottom of the pot here. Just gonna go ahead and try to loosen it up a little bit, place it in there and then top it with some more soil and get it watered, shower the leaves down. And then I think this will be the last one for today because I need more soil. Okay, she's all potted up. I'm just gonna give her a little bit of water. She was getting pretty burnt up by the tree because the sun is too much over there. So now I have her on the patio where I have an umbrella. So hopefully that'll shade her from the sun as much as she needs. She has some growth points on here. That's one thing about these type of philodendrons. They constantly push out new growth. You could see there's one there, there, and there. So not really too worried about her whenever they get burnt up like that i just trim down the leaves and they come right back i potted up that alocasia zebrina yesterday in an old pot that i just had out here but it's fine because it just needed space to grow. My Alocasia Zebrina is putting out a new leaf. Actually, it's putting out two new leaves. I didn't even see that one. So on a side note, I wanted to show you guys the two largest iguanas that live over here on the lake. And then there's a bunch of little ones. They don't bother anyone, but they do eat the vegetation. 
Um, my brother did say that he caught one of them chowing down on my Cebu Blue pothos that's around the tree, which that Cebu Blue shouldn't even be there because it's too much sun getting to it. But yeah, they do like to hang out over here close to the fruit trees. There's mango trees over there, so they do like to eat the mangoes and other types of vegetation. The reason why he's running right now is because she came over here and I don't know what she's gonna try to do, but let's see how this plays out. I think she's just being nosy. She wants to see what I'm doing over here. And they're running from her. My olive tree is doing pretty good outside. It's actually pushing out a few new leaves right there. You can see the little tiny leaves coming out. Also, I moved my Caladium Hilo Beauty outside because for some reason it's doing this cupping type of thing where the leaves are cupping downward. So I thought it would improve outside, but it's still doing that. Actually, it's just this one leaf. So I'm not sure what that's all about, but it's also putting out a new leaf right here. And this one looks bigger than all of these. And I think it's because I moved it outside and it's getting more sunlight. Usually when it's inside, it's not getting as much sun. The leaves will come out smaller. So this one will probably be bigger. Update, my desert rose is actually blooming and all of these blooms are about to open as well. More of the flowers are opening. That's the original one. And that one right there opened. A couple of them right here. And this one. Guys, here's an update on my Hoya Carnosa Crimson Princess. It has finally bloomed. Look how gorgeous this is. That's the reward of having Hoyas these beautiful flowers. I can't wait for my other ones to start blooming. They all have peduncles, so I'm thinking maybe in the next couple weeks they'll be blooming as well. Hoya macrophylla now has blooms and several peduncles. So this one will be blooming soon. Hoya Compacta now has two blooms. Has this one right here, so beautiful. And this does actually smell like chocolate. I smelled it yesterday. And it also has this one right here. Lady, move out the way so I could do this video, please. No? Okay, all right, you can be in the video. Also, I don't know if you guys remember that video when I did the plant shopping at Walmart Hall with all the succulents and cacti. I'll link it above, but this is the Euphorbia Lactea and it's growing so big. I need to get this out of the nursery pot and plant it directly into a regular pot. I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave it in that plastic pot or if I'm gonna go ahead and transfer it to terracotta because it's so big and heavy. I have a feeling it'll start falling over soon. So I'll figure that out. Also, I trimmed my variegated and my regular string of hearts. They were trailing down really low, but the bottom leaves are really small, so I went ahead and trimmed them and it didn't bother me at all because it promotes new growth. Mm. 
So you've already met Lady, and this is Blue. Blue, say hi. Blue is on the shy side. Uh, these two cats are actually neighborhood cats that were here before I moved here. But my daughter put those collars on them so we can tell them apart. Blue has the blue collar and Lady has the red one. And they just seem to hang out over here by my house now. So they're not technically mine, but they think they are. Here's an update on the two Monstera Deliciosas that I purchased from Lowe's and combined into this white pot. It's doing really well. It's growing a lot and most of the leaves are now fenestrated. At one point, some of the leaves on the right side were getting sunburnt when I had it here, but I just rotate it between this spot and where it's at right now and I just keep a close eye on it. My variegated jasmine is doing excellent. I potted two plants up into one pot. They both came with a trellis and I just tied the trellises up together. So there's a plant on the front and a plant on the back. I'm absolutely in love with this plant. It is full sun tolerant and it's in a perfect spot right here. Here's a quick look at my cacti and succulents. While I don't know the name of all of them, if I do know the name, I'll mention it in the video. This is, I believe, a climbing aloe. This is my beer paw succulent and it's not doing so well out here. It used to be so nice and full up until recently. Um, it's dropping a lot of leaves and thinning out so if you have any recommendations leave it in the comments and this morning i noticed it has this really cute little flower i love this one right here it has these really fuzzy leaves This is some type of Kalanchoe. This is a Euphorbia. I'll see if I can find the exact name of this. This is growing up nicely. That's a variegated elephant bush. It's thinning out. I gotta try to do something with that. also have my little Hoy Australis Lisa. If you have any cacti or succulents in your collection, leave a cacti emoji in the comments and let me know what's your favorite. My bear paw was always my favorite, but it's struggling. This is a jade plant. This is a variegated jade plant. I think this is some type of Kalanchoe. This is a Flapjacks Kalanchoe. This is a Raindrop Echeveria. It's actually flowering right now. Also have some little guys back there. Down here I have some type of bird's nest Sansevieria. And then guys, take a look at this. This is a domino cactus. I don't know what's going on here, but it's growing up like that. So I don't know what that means, but that's how it was when we brought it over to the new house.
had some type of crested euphorbia. That's a key lime pie succulent. Also have a Hoya Australis right there. This one has such an interesting color. You can see the difference. It's so blue compared to the other green ones. I think that's a devil's tongue. Golden Barrel. Serious Spiralis. here this was my Hoya Linearis but it's pretty dried out I don't know if I could save it at this point but I'm gonna try to water it um, and this is a piece of string of hearts that fell off my other plant so I just planted it right up in here Also, I think I have about three domino cacti already, but I bought another one. Got this from Home Depot. I just really like the look of the domino cactus, but also the beautiful white flowers that they put out. That concludes today's video. Let me know in the comments what plant chores are you working on and whether anything exciting is happening with your plants. Until next time, thank you guys so much for watching and take care.